Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy, the SoCal Sensei. I'm here to bring you a little tutorial. Uh, so obviously we're all like pretty much on quarantine. So we're being restricted to doing a lot of home workouts, but just remember you can go out, you can go for walks. I see a lot more people jogging than I normally do. Keep moving guys, keep moving. And you know, I have my downloads, they're on sale right now. You can click the link in the description. But I wanted to go over something um, that I've been wanting to do for a while. I wanted to do a tutorial on how to properly, your proper arm position when you're doing any type of swinging movement, whether it be a two-handed swing or a one-handed swing. Because this is something that, that pops up all the time. People send me messages and they're like, why do, you, why do you choose that positioning for your arms and whatnot? And a lot of people attribute it, it to like, oh, he's not using proper technique. So when I was taught, um, initially taught, the kettlebell swing and whatnot from a certified instructor okay anytime we did the swing we would have like the arms locked out like that that's cool i'm not saying it's wrong but uh i've adapted it and the same thing with the one-handed swing whenever you're doing the one-handed swing you're keeping that arm straight like that okay that's the way i was taught and i don't ever want i don't like saying that's wrong, you shouldn't do that. I never like saying that because you know everybody's body's different. And you know, if you look at people who've been doing kettlebell training for a long time, all their movements are just slightly different because once you do it, you're gonna start learning how to, to adapt movements to your body. If you're, if you're in tune with your body and you also have to listen to your body. And if you've just gotten into fitness and movement and stuff like that, you know, it takes a while. I've been training in martial arts for my whole life for 40 years. So I'm really in tune my with my body. I can feel things. And since I've been punching and kicking since I was a little kid, you know, the joints start aching a little bit more and whatnot. And you start feeling things in different ways. So like I, I started noticing this, and this was years ago, years ago that when I was doing like one-handed swings and stuff like that, I started getting 10, like, I think this is called tennis elbow when it's here and it's golfer's elbow on the inside. I was getting like really, really painful tennis elbow right here. It's ten tendonitis or whatever you want to call it, man. And it was so frustrating, man, because it's like, man, um, it hurts to do swings and it hurt to do really it hurt a lot to do high pulls, which is one of my favorite kettlebell exercises, you know. So then uh, I started noticing. I just started adapting. And I started noticing if I keep my arm slightly bent, it puts less pressure on my elbow. Now, I want you guys to take the time and do a little test right here. Okay, now just hold your arm out and keep it locked out. Put pressure on the top of your hand, like pushing downward, and I want you to pull up simultaneously. If you do that, then right away, you should be able to feel that it puts a lot of stress on your elbow right off the bat. If I, all the way, and just think all the way to the kettlebell is right here. I'm pulling this kettlebell up, but gravity's trying to pull this kettlebell back down. So you're getting that counteraction just like this. If I push down and pull up simultaneously, you can even see this elbow flex because it has to compensate right here. So that's why I started keeping my arm slightly bent like that. Instead of straight like that, I keep it bent like that. And that goes the same thing for my two-handed swings as well. When I'm doing my two-handed swings, I don't lock my arms out like that. I keep them slightly bent like that. And if you do that, and now like if you, Keep your thumb slightly bent so it's like at a 45 degree angle. Now, keep your arm bent, push down. You do not feel that same pressure on your elbow. Therefore, I help my tendonitis out big time. I don't have tendonitis any, anymore. And I can swing a lot more comfortably. Okay, so let me give you an example of it, the way I do it. Okay, so check it out. And I'll, I'll give it to you from a few different angles, guys. So, the way I swing, is I'm gonna get that bell in the hiking position. My right hand's on the outside, I'm gonna do the one-handed swing. I'll just do the two-handed swing first. I'm gonna hike it, pop my hips and my arms are gonna be slightly bent like that. I'm not curling the kettlebell like that. I'm still driving with my hips, but then at the top, look, my arms are bent as opposed to keeping them straight out like that. Okay, so I'll do it from this angle first here. I'm gonna hike it. See my arms? are slightly bent. I'm not locking them out like that. It feels really unnatural too for me. 
okay? So on our one hand, it swings the same thing. What I do is I turn my thumb inward here, and once my wrist touches my inner thigh, that's when I pop, and since I'm propelling the bell up, my thumb wants to naturally come up anyway, and I keep it slightly bent like that. So here, left hand on the bell. I'm gonna go thumb to bum here. So here, see my arm slightly bent. And back down. And so that is the arm positioning. That is the reasoning behind my arm positioning. So what I'm, I'm saying the proper way to to uh, proper arm positioning, it's the way I do it. It's kind of it's kind, so it's kind of misleading. I just wanted to kind of pull you guys in so you guys, oh, what's the proper position? But um, think about that and think about all these other exercises you do. If you're experiencing pain, you know, analyze the movement and see why it's causing you pain and try to adjust. And if you can't do it yourself, ask your coach, you know, ask somebody who knows more than you, right? That's what we're here for. We're coaches. We're here to help you guys. So I help. I hope that helps you. Think about these kettlebell swings and the arm positioning and think about have you thinking about these movements that you're doing and if they're causing you pain, if they're not, you know, if they're causing you pain, then you have to stop doing it. You have to really start to think about the mechanics and why it's causing you pain and whatnot. And sometimes, man, you can just slap an ice pack on it and it helps too as well. So I hope you guys like this tutorial. Um, stay positive in this time, guys. You know, we're on top of it. We're coming together as a nation and we're, um, we're gonna handle this whole, this whole pandemic that we're, we're, we're in right now, guys. So stay strong, keep moving, and I'll see you guys. Peace, love you all.